Well, I'm going to let people in on a secret, not that they're going to act upon it, because you're going to say I don't know what I'm talking about, but I acted upon it a while ago, and actually to date, it actually has performed better than silver, and that is palladium. Depends on when you buy. But I've been noticing in the markets that palladium has not been taking as much of a hit as the other metals. And I did state yesterday that palladium actually, well, actually silver and gold are the only two commodities about when you're looking at the Goldman Sachs, the S&P Goldman Sachs Commodity Index of all the commodities out there. All the commodities are down. Energy sector, agricultural sector, all the sectors are down. Gold and silver are up a little bit from January 1st. And actually now they're even up a little bit more. So there's actually a tightening of money, monetary policy. But palladium is looking pretty good. Um, now, I just want to state something. Palladium is going to do better than silver. You're not, you, you people may might want to argue with that. Well, I'm going to say I already put my money there. I actually am a little more invested in silver than palladium because I think it will be easier to get rid of physical silver. That's one of the advantages. There will be more buyers for it. But I think palladium is actually going to outperform silver and it's going to be the best performing metal bar none. Probably for this year but also into the future. In long term it could be a very good hold. Um, this is actually a little factoid. Now pay attention to this because this rumor has been around for quite some time about the Russian stockpiles. Are they depleted? Are they not depleted? They throw garbage out there left and right and they play games with the market. You really can't trust a lot of things that are said. But since they released stockpiles this last time from Russia that were a record amount, that's what drove down the palladium prices in late 2011 on this one, I can think of November. But um, what happened then actually was they did that in lieu of um, a record palladium's demand for 2011. So the price actually dropped. That's how much they actually took out of stockpiles. They might be low. It's been rumored for two or three years now. Now, this little statement in a presentation in London GF, GFMS, Philip Klapwick stated that Russian sales of palladium from its inventories could drop to 400,000 ounces in 2012 compared to 800,000 ounces in 2011. Not talking about sale of palladium, talking about sale from inventories. In other words, maybe they do have some more held back, but they're going to hold back and drive the price up. Now, I want to point out what happened here back in 2001. Palladium reached, I think it was a little over $1,100. And that was about almost four times the price of gold. Almost four times the price of gold. It was like three and a half, three point seven 3.7 times the price of gold, I believe. I don't have the calculations in front of me. I did various graphs on that and stuff, looking at the ratios. But you could buy something right now. That's a little over $600. Gold's like $1,600. And you know, you think gold is a good deal? Palladium blows it away. It's actually going to perform better than silver. People, I don't know. I'm telling you the truth on this one. But it's just something that most people will not act upon. And uh, in reality, the palladium market can actually be driven up by a very small amount of investors. It is infinitesimal even compared to the silver market. You know how David Morgan always states the silver market will only take some big investors to move into it that could really drive the price up? Well, that can very easily happen with palladium. Sure, the demand destruction can happen. I know. Well, you know what? I'm hoping to sell before the demand destruction happens. You know, if I stayed in the metals, I would probably, like in other words, if palladium went double the price of gold, so it say it did. I don't think it's not going to do that this year, of course. But say it did that, and I don't think the gold bull run was over with because there's still problems with government debt. I would just take part of that money and buy gold with it. And maybe played in my crash temporarily, but this asset is actually going to be the most well-performing asset, bar none. It's going to beat silver. 
A lot of people just don't realize this. They're not being, you know why? Because it's not being advertised. And there's no people out there with um, vested interest in pushing the metal up. You know, there's no, you know, there's no sprot or anything like that that's investing heavily in palladium. I know he's supposedly opening a fund up now. Maybe that's a good indication the price is going to start driving up. But you're not going to hear a lot of uh, talk about this metal. And, you know, hence you're not going to get the little people involved in that. But if you had like a million people buy an ounce of palladium, that would have a major effect on the market. Major effect. There's only like uh, 8 million ounces or so that are that are produced each year. That are So that's about it, you know. I mean, maybe the demand might go over to 10 million ounces. I don't have the figures right in front of me, but it's infinitesimal compared to the silver market. Infinitesimal. Small investors can drive up palladium like to astronomical uh, levels. But I want to point out this statement here is very revealing that um, it's going to drop from 400,000 to 400,000 ounces released in 2012 compared to 800,000 ounces in 2011. If they didn't release that much palladium from an inventories in 2011, the price would be way up right now. And I think a lot of investors realize that. You know, so they play games. The Russians play games with this stuff. But uh, this asset is actually going to save your wealth more than silver would. Although silver is going to do excellent. I personally, one thing I like about silver, though, is the fact that more people know what the hell it is. Everybody knows what silver is. A lot of people don't know what palladium is. And a lot of coin dealers might not deal with palladium the way. But still, there's an easy market to sell palladium if it goes up to some high level. It's not like the, the dealers are all going to disappear. There's still plenty of people that will buy it. And um, it's going to outperform all the other metals. I think uh, another metal that's actually going to do extremely well is platinum. Platinum. People aren't thinking about these things, and, uh, well, you know, I've already acted upon it. I didn't act in the perfect timing on platinum, but I know that metal is actually going to do a lot better than gold. It's going to get ahead of gold. So, you know, I know in the long run I'll, I'll win out on that one, too.